Hello, it's Beverly here, and today I will be starting with my first set of indoor seed starting for the upcoming 2024 garden season. Today I will be starting with my pepper and my eggplant seeds. Um, every year come January, that's when I start my pepper seeds because I find they take a while to germinate and also um, take some time to get established. So that's the very first seed that I tend to start with every year come January. So I will go ahead and I will plant those seeds. To start planting my seeds, I uh, first fill my container with my seed starting potting mix. And as you can see, Miracle Grow. And you have to make sure that it's seed starting, not just any potting mix, seed starting. And uh, so I put my water in and I make sure that my, my seed starting mix is fully. Um, moistened so with my seed starting mix in my container no um here pockets and it's well moistened i'm going to go ahead now and I'm, I'm going to plant me my pepper seeds I do have me here some bell pepper seeds that I saved from my peppers from last crop. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to plant me um, roughly three plants. I do not have a lot of space in my garden, so I have to bear in mind. So in planting my seeds, I'll be doing three seeds in each um compartment. Um, um, two will serve as a backup in case one doesn't germinate then another one may or the other two and if two or so germinate then I can always thin them later. So I'll go ahead and I'll just use my pencil and I'll put one in the center. That's the one I hope will be my tr true pepper plants. So I'll put that in the center. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to put me one seed in each um, hole that I've, I've provided. And then for the other two backup seeds, I'll just go ahead and do two more. Um, seeds um in each okay it's a little too much okay so i'll go ahead now and i'll add two more seeds to each section that's one there not sure if one got into this one that's one that's one Okay, and I'll just cover those, make sure they're fully covered and the soil is in full contact with the seed itself. Okay, so that's it for my bell pepper and I'll doing just, just three plants, as I said earlier. Now I'm going to go on to my habanero peppers. I'm also going to do three plants of the habanero, and I'll be also putting three seeds per slot. Another thing I will be doing right after is labeling these to make sure I know what are my um, bell peppers versus my habanero pepper. And this one I used last year, and um, that's it there. That's the hot pepper um, habanero blend. 
I did this one last year and it was um, successful. So I'll be using the same package for this year. So I'm going to put me three holes in each. Yes, yeah, so with me going ahead and doing the habanero pepper, you may have noticed that I've uh, messed up a bit and I've done four of the bell sweet peppers. So I will just leave it at that and I will instead do two of the habanero pepper. Okay, so... So again, for the habanero, I will also put three seeds per section. One, two, three, and I'll just use my pencil to make sure that it's all the way in and making contact with the, with the starting mix sure to cover those Yeah, so that's it for my sweet bell peppers and my habanero peppers. I've gotten that out of the way. I can now sit back and wait for these to germinate. So for me, I try to keep everything economical in my gardening. Um, so I'm out of labels and I don't want that to stop me from going ahead with my seed starting. I'll just use me some tape, write my, um, the name of the seeds, and um, I'll just stick it right on, okay? okay this one I know is my habanero pepper. That's all I'm doing there, just writing the name, and then just putting it on. And for the others, uh, my bell sweet peppers. All right, so I will now go on to my eggplant. And for the eggplant, I will be doing... Hmm, for the eggplant, I think I may do me three plants and then I'll save um, the section for some other plants. So I'll go ahead and I'll do three eggplants and I'll do the same thing. I'll make three holes, plant three seeds in each section and two will serve as a backup. And I can always thin them later. So And this time I'm making sure to only plant in three. <laughs> and again, as I said, three seeds. That's one, two, three seeds. And I'm making sure that it's making direct contact with the soil, They're fully covered. These are bigger seeds. I can always go ahead and cover these.
And again, I will go right ahead and label these so I can remember exactly what I planted in these cells. So these are eggplants times three. Okay, so the next thing I have to take in consideration is that these seeds need to stay moist um, while they're waiting to germinate. So normally I use a dome, but um, because these containers are a little high and will not fit in the dome, uh, my alternative is to use me some shrink wrap. So I will go ahead and I will wrap these containers with um, my shrink wrap so as to keep the moisture in. So when I do, I just, just get the the way. So what I'll be doing here, I will use the plastic as my dome. And I'll just make sure that it's fully covered. The container is fully covered. And to keep it in place, I will just use me an elastic band to keep this in place. So that's it there. This is the first set of seeds that I've planted for my 2024 upcoming garden season. And that's my sweet bell pepper, also my habanero pepper, and some eggplant seeds. So I will take these off to my furnace room. I'm um, in about seven days or so. I will check on them. If I've seen any sign of anything sprouting, then I will take them straight out. And um, luckily for me, I do have a south facing window. So I can take them out, put them to my south facing window, and I will definitely be supplementing them with um, grow lights. So stay tuned to see how well these seeds have. Um, germinated and how well they do for the 2024 garden season all right so again i want to thank you as usual for taking your time to watch my video in my next video i will be going on to my perennials and that will be a little more in-depth video so stay tuned thanks again and have a great day bye-bye now